psyched. This rave is supposed to be live. But are you sure this is the right place? Well, this is the address on the invitation. Then what are we waiting for? Rave on! somewhere cool like the venice boardwalk but what could be cooler than a 70s disco roller rink uh sorry alex time doesn't permit me to answer that <sighs> i knew i should have gone to the pablo picardo exhibit at the museum come on guys i've been wanting to go retro skating since like forever more like lamo skating and what's with those skates do you think they put the wheels in the corners by mistake Cute guy at the skate shop swore it's with he and all his friends. Cute guy? Friends of cute guy? Mm -hmm. Oops, wrong calm thingy. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> oh no, what have I done? Forget about it, Alex. Whoops got dozens more calm powders where that came from. It's not huh? the calm powder I'm upset about. It's the mirror! I broke it and now I'm doomed to seven years of bad luck! Whatever, Alex. That's just a superstition. No, it uh -huh. isn't. It's a jinx. And we'd better get to the roller rink fast before something bad happens to us. Oh, I thought going to the roller rink was the bad thing. <gasps> my roller rink! It's been totally trashed and it's all my fault! Alex, what are you talking about? Hello, I broke a mirror. I told you it would bring me bad luck. Okay, I seriously doubt a ruined roller rink has anything to do with bad luck. Yeah, I mean, when you think about it, it's actually kind of good luck because now we can go blading at the boardwalk. <gasps> or even better, to the mall. They'll let us go blading at the mall? No, shopping at the mall. Sure, if we hail that taxi first. Taxi! <laughs> Well, hello, girls. So glad you could drop by. We have another crisis on our hands. Apparently, during the past few nights, numerous local establishments have been completely destroyed. Huh? You mean like the roller rink? Among others, Smoothie King, Pumps, Platforms and Piggies, and even the new Scrunchy City was struck as well. Not Scrunchy City! I'm afraid so, Clover. I'm truly sorry. <gasps> oh, no. Bad luck strikes again. <laughs> Perhaps, although this violent rampage began long before you broke your mirror. And expensive comb powder. <laughs> but why? Who's doing this? We're not certain, but we believe it's the work of some underground group of anarchists. We were able to salvage this videotape from the Roller Rink's security monitor. As you can see, it is obviously a deliberate act of destruction. If there was music, I'd say it was a deliberately out there rave. I beg your pardon? You know, a rave, as in underground after-hours party. Hmm? You don't know what a <laughs> rave is? That is so weird. Not half as weird as the fact that there was a rave and I didn't know about it. Whoever they are, we suspect that they'll strike again tonight. Well then, what are we hanging around here for? Lay some gadgets on us, Jer. I was hoping you'd say that. Tonight, you will be utilizing the Heat Sensor 6000 Infrared Sunglasses, the expandable cable bungee belt, and ultra-sensitive two-clip banana barrette listening device. Too cute! Any other questions? Good. Well, ta-ta! <laughs> Clover, Alex, see anything yet? Negative, Sammy. Everything looks normal. Normal? These glasses totally clash. How come those whoop brainiacs can make see-in-the-dark glasses, but they can't make them in a series of fashionable colors? Hey, wait a minute. What's that? Looks like something's going on at the art museum. The art museum? Cool. I 
coming. Oh, first a roller rink and now an art museum. When is it going to be my turn to pick where we're going? <laughs> Strange, it's locked. Sounds like somebody got inside somehow. A lot of somebody's. And here come more <gasps> now. Quick, you guys, hide! It's David. What's he doing here? The question is, what's he doing with her? Silly, they're going to the museum. <laughs> Correction, they're going to a rave. Come on, now's our chance. <gasps> invitations. Invitations? Yeah, this party's invitation only. Oh, uh, well, you see, there must be some kind of mix up because I always get invited to like everywhere. So somebody clearly made a major social faux pas and totally forgot to invite me. No invite, no admission. Beat it. I can't believe our bad luck. I can't believe that David's with Mandy. What's that about? Who cares? We've got to think of a way to get inside that museum. <laughs> or not. <laughs> David and Mandy getting invited, but Arnold? Now I'm totally offended. Now's our chance. <gasps> oh no! They destroyed that Picardo painting! How can she tell? Don't look at me. This is weird, you guys. This isn't like any rave I've ever been to. Maybe it wasn't a rave. So then how do you explain the DJ? After him! I bet the DJ knows who's behind this anti-rave. Come on! There he goes! Shut Now which way did he go? Upway? I think this calls for the expendable cable bungee belt. Do I have to do everything myself? <gasps> Four belly sweaters, monkey boxers, and other cute things. This is where you get off. Sharp nail file. What's this? Huh? huh? Beats me, but I'm having a major deja vu moment. Yeah, and since it fell out of our friend's pocket, something tells me we should send it to Woot for analyzing. Okay, so am I the only one who thinks it's strange that we're totally out of the rave loop? It's not strange. When you're Jinx, huh? or at least not any stranger than that. <laughs> wow, looks like everybody in school went shopping last night. Girls, there's definitely something strange going on here, and I see it's time we found out what. Ah! Hey, Manny! Huh? Been to any raves lately? Did you happen to catch the new Pablo Picardo exhibit at the museum? Huh? Love the new look, Arnold. Who's your personal shopper? Hyper Rave is the wave of the future. <laughs> Hyper Rave is the wave of the future? Like, that was helpful. Not. So now what? Hmm. <gasps> what else? We accessorize. So, you going tonight? Got my invitation right here. Hyper, Hyper Rave is, is the, the wave, wave of the future! future. <laughs> well, one thing's for sure, there's another rave tonight. If only we were invited. Leave this one to me. Oops. Oh. Uh -huh. 
<laughs> Tonight, 10 p.m., Beverly Hills Mall. Finally! I was beginning to think we were never going shopping. <laughs> So glad I found you. We got the results back from Whoop's lab analysis of that strange glowing microdisc you found. What did you say? I said we got the results back on the microdisc you found. Jerry, you're really going to have to speak up. We can't hear you over the music. Girls, listen. On the surface, the disc is just a benign collection of mediocre, monotonous music. But in fact, the disc is a micro digital virus capable of extremely violent. Weird. I usually get great reception in this mall. You think someone's blurring our transmission? No, I think you're shopping with someone cursed with bad luck. Hello? Earth to Alex and Clover, we're investigating, not shopping. Ah, that blasted music. You'd think it would give their brains a... Huh? Music. They were listening to the same music that was on the disc. Huh? Hyper Rave is the wave of the future. 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 I've got to warn my spies. I've just figured out what's weird about this rave. It's completely tame. Yeah, where are all the interesting guys? Looks like it's time to mix things up. What the? We have some visitors. Why don't you ask them to dance? Party time, girls. <gasps> don't look now, ladies, but I think we have some serious party crashers. Get them! <laughs> Ow! Watch it with the hair! Maybe it's time you set this dance out. Hey! Well, well, well. If it isn't the little spy girls. <laughs> Jin, you're the DJ? I should have known someone as sick and twisted as you would be behind these raves. DJ, twisted criminal mastermind. Titles are so meaningless to me. What interests me is revenge. Am I the only one who's still stuck on the fact that Mr. Sebastian is the DJ? It's not so hard to understand, really. You sent me to prison, I escaped, and now I'm getting revenge. So not inviting us to your raves is your revenge? Boy, are you rusty in the villain department. Not if those raves end up destroying every single place the three of you hold near and dear. <gasps> He's right. The first rave ruined Alex's roller rink, the second rave totally trashed my museum, and now this rave is going to destroy my mall? That is so evil! Now do you believe me about the bad luck? And the beauty of it is that I don't have to lift a finger. Those kids are going to do it all for me. All I have to do is play this micro-digital virus, and anyone hearing it will be instantly hypnotized and programmed to do my bidding. Which, let me guess, has something to do with destroying our favorite hangouts? Exactly. Care for a demonstration? I don't hear anything. Hello! This glass is soundproof! But let me assure you, your friends down there can hear every note. This is horrible! 
And this is nothing compared to what I've got planned for my finale. It'll be a real learning experience. This is where you get off. Ah! Ah! Hyperave is the wave of the future! Ah! That was so uncalled for. What a loser. And what does he mean about his finale being a learning experience? Isn't that like the total opposite reason for having a ray? A real learning experience. <gasps> oh no! He plans to destroy Beverly High! Then we have to get out of here and get to the school right away! pretty tame so far. Something tells me it's not gonna stay this way for long. Let's get down there. Time to pump up the volume. Enjoy the party, girls! <laughs> Good heavens, I hope I'm not too late. Will somebody please unlock this door? Thank you. And thank you, Whoop Laboratories, for these sensible, soundproof earplugs. Sebastian. Sebastian's gone! And apparently he's found a way to broadcast his music by way of some remote feed hookup. There he is! Up on the roof! We've got to stop him before it's too late! Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Nice work, girls. Sorry about the sign, Jerry. Guess I gotta work on my landings. 
On the contrary, Alex. Your landing skills are what saved the school from complete destruction. Turns out the sign was where Sebastian was broadcasting his music from. So the rave's over? Everybody's back to normal? Well, I wouldn't say everybody. <laughs> Ew, somebody's school needs a serious makeover. Yeah, thanks to that rave, this place is a mess. And what's weird is no one remembers a thing about it. It's like Sebastian's disc erased everyone's memory. Hey, did you hear? Vandals broke into the school last night and totally trashed it. Makes you so upset you just want to clean the whole place up, you know? See what I mean? And to think this all happened because I broke that stupid mirror. Ugh. Huh? Alex, that Jinx thingy is so last week. Nuh-uh, it's not last week or even last month. It's gonna be for a whole seven years. Hmm. Ah, stop! Walking under a ladder is major bad luck! Maybe normally. But a second bad luck on top of a first bad luck just cancels the first bad luck out. Get it? You're neutralized. Oh, wow, that's great! Thanks, guys! <laughs> Finally, this bad luck stuff is over. Ah! Oh, no. You don't think that when we pulled Alex under the ladder, we got jinxed? Good luck, girls. Because now that you're jinxed, you'll need it.